Okay, good afternoon and welcome from St. Mary's Perivale, wherever you're watching this concert. We have a very keen audience here of jazz aficionados. It's great to have you all, and I'm very glad, uh, grateful to you for watching. I think we're in for a great afternoon today. I'd like to express my thanks to Simon Shute and Rob Jenkins, the technical team behind this afternoon. And I'd like to express my thanks to Rob Luft and Alice Zavatsky for coming along and playing a concert for us. Uh, they got very impressive CVs and having heard them warm up, you are in for a real treat. They're going to announce their program and if you like it at the end, you know what you can do? You can go to our PayPal facility on the website and donate because all our musicians are paid as in contrast to some places in the middle of town where they don't seem to do that. We always do and so we need cash to keep the show on the road. Enough of that. Shall we press on now and let's have a big round of applause for Rob Luft and Alice Zavadsky. Thank you. Thank you. 
that not, but that not for me. Oh, unlucky stars above, but it's not for me. With love to lead the way, I found more clouds of grey than any Russian play. But anyway, we plough on. Uh, so <laughs> that, of course, was the great old standard, but not from me. I'm sure you've heard it before. Um, the next one we're going to do is one which you probably won't have heard. It's a song that I wrote that's based on some poetry by the great um, Lorca, the great Spanish poet Lorca. And this poem talks about how painful it is to be in love. So it talks about how wearing a hat on your head is painful to your head because you're so in love, uh, and a whole list of other things. And uh, at some point I was reading this, and I think at the time I was in love, and it was unrequited, and I did feel that, um, you know, that dreadful pain that you feel when it's unrequited. And I then sort of thought to myself, well, you know, the best I can, or the least I can do is actually laugh at this situation, laugh at oneself for being so silly. Uh, to fall in love in that way. So we've kind of paired this song with uh, much lighter music than what the lyrics are. Um, and also included a great uh, quote from an Irish reel called Rakish Paddy. Um, and for me, uh, I feel like that juxtaposition of things, just it kind of just brings something different to the words and that allows me to laugh at myself and all of us really. So. I hope that you uh, I hope that you enjoy it. It's called Es Verdad. Ay, qué trabajo me cuesta quererte. Como te quiero. Ay, qué trabajo me cuesta quererte. Como te quiero. Thank you. 
sky so to speak um, yeah we're gonna carry on now with a piece that's very dear to my heart it's an Italian uh, folk song a traditional Italian song which is originally called addio addio amore which means obviously goodbye goodbye my love and it was um, re-recorded and reimagined in I think the 1960s by a great Italian folk singer called Domenico Modugno you probably know Domenico di Mugno, di, uh, Modugno from, uh, he sang Volare, the very famous version of Volare. Yeah. Esatto, esatto, conosci. Yeah. Um, allora, we're going to play this beautiful song um, that Modugno reimagined, and he called it uh, Amara Terra Mia, which means my beautiful, bitter land. And um, we're both, I would say, Italophiles, are we not? We love Italian music, Italian culture. And this is uh, a kind of um, uh, a love song to the homeland, I guess you'd call it, like people who have to go away from their homeland to work, to travel, to uh, reunite with family or even to leave their families at home uh, in order to uh, work in another country. And I guess it's kind of a universal song for all those people, uh, the, all the emigrants of, um, of the world. So, yes, um, I... Uh, Hope you enjoy this. This is Amara Terra Mia by Domenico Modugno. Thank you very much. Terima 
esperanza
next tune will be one that you know. It was written by the great Duke Ellington. No, it wasn't. Was it not? It was written by his trombonist. <laughs> the next song is by Duke Ellington's trombone player. <laughs> Do we have a name? No. His name his name was Juan Tizol. Juan Tizol. Yes. He also wrote another song that's uh, accredited to Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington was one of those chaps who claimed credit for songs that he didn't really compose. Scandalous. That's very jazz, like Miles Davis and Charlie Parker. Also, yeah. They all seem to just steal uh, compositions off each other slash their lesser known band members. Um, Dave Brubeck obviously had a big hit with Paul Desmond's Take Five, for example. There, but I mean, at least that was accredited to Paul Desmond. Uh, Duke Ellington had a trombone player called Juan de Sol who wrote this Latin tinged piece called Caravan. Thank you very much. That was, that's fascinating. I'm going to get on Google as soon as this one is over. Don't believe Google. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the era of fake news. Um, anyway. No comment. <laughs> I said nothing. It's the best response to everything these days. Yeah, yeah. No comment. <laughs> Good.
branches down along the ground to the sea. Sad as I can be, listen below and weep for me. Such a lovely summer dream Gonna let me here to weep my tears into the stream Oh, sad as I can be Listen, Lord, weep for me Whisper to the wind And say that love has sinned to the night to hide her starry light and none will hear me sighing and crying all alone weeping below the tree weeping sympathy then your branches down along the ground runs to the sea Listen and Lord, wait for me. Whisper to the night to hide her starry light. None will hear me crying and making the moon. Then your branches to the sea.
king of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness. But still will keep a bower over us. And a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Unseasonal, but you know. <laughs> You've got to give the people what they want. That's true. So. Oh, you're 
makes a laugh of all. for leaving the outside world <laughs> to come and hear live music. It's really lovely to be back uh, doing this, doing what we love. Um, this is our last tune. This is a beautiful Brazilian bossa by uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim, and it's called No More Blues. Che guy, de saudade. No more blues. No more blues. No more blues. <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> I'm about ready for a glass of wine. What about you? The London Jazz Festival finished yesterday, but I want to say that this is the beginning of the next 365 days of the London Jazz Festival. So prepare your livers and may the, uh, yes, no, I'm joking, don't prepare your livers, just keep on going on. The London Jazz Festival is eternal. It is, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. So no more blues. Yes. <laughs> 
wish when we settle down there'll be no more blues.
Rob and I have played this song in probably about four different keys over the years. So it's always lovely when we play them in the same one. <laughs> <laughs> We've rested upon our favourite, which is A major, the key of love. I think all the, all the big sonatas are written in A major, the ones that are written about love, I believe. So there you go. Oh, 
many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there and they die there. Are you warm? Are you Or just the cold and lonely, lovely work of art. Mona Lisa. Well, I'm lost for words. I thought that was absolutely stunning. Two absolutely wonderful musicians at the top of their game. You wouldn't get better anywhere. I thought both of them were quite exceptional. Quite an experience to hear it in this intimate surroundings, this close quarters. I hope you agree and I hope you enjoyed it when you're uh, those people out there too. It looked a very good transmission. Huge thanks to our technical team, Simon Shoot and Rob Jenkins. Oh dear, that was so enjoyable. And if you enjoyed it as much as we did, you know what you can do? You can go to our website and there's a PayPal facility there. Please donate generously. I think they're worth it actually. I really do think you might dig into your pockets and donate something for an exceptional afternoon. Tomorrow we'll return to more familiar fare with a piano recital of Brahms and Beethoven. On Thursday, we have uh, Fenella Humphreys, wonderful violinist from Ealing, uh, with, playing with Viv McLean, uh, violin and piano, including The Lark Ascending, a lovely program, and she is, they're both sensational. And on Saturday, we have an international piano competition, all playing Liszt. All very different from this afternoon, but not necessarily better. I thought this afternoon was sensational, and I'm very grateful to you all for either watching from afar or being here in the church. And a very good afternoon to you from West London. Thank you. Um, um, a bit And it's been a lovely afternoon and if you want to donate I think they're worth I thought it's sensational